weekend vlog volume one so i thought to myself why don't i do a weekend vlog so i need to go down to the ends today to sort out this grease boy it's been about three or four weeks you know haircut well overdue but before i go down to the ends i need to sort out one or two little things and then later on this evening I've got a link up members only though but stay tuned for that boy not all of my activities exactly went according to plan now boom, shower time now, but first we'll need to make my cup of tea. Imagine a man really had six sugars in his tea. Had this mug for four years, you know. It was a little present from Santander when they granted me the mortgage for this yard. Anyway, shower time now. Uh, let's go upstairs. But just before I jump in the shower, write down in the comment box below if you know what that purple thing is called. Shut your bomber clock mouth, boy. This is the shit that I'm gonna have to do when I'm trying to make videos in my yard. Pussy clock, dog. So I'm gonna put on some rough clothes because I've got some work to do. We don't iron our clothes out here. But we still have to smell good. Tom Ford, you're done now. And speaking of clothes, I got my laundry to do as well. And I know what you're thinking. How's a man mixing? Purple, green, blue black and white in one wash me i'm a man i don't give a fuck about color coordination time to start loading up my car you know what time it is when this jacket comes out all right next up i'm gonna grab my dog henry You know, I just clocked something, you know. Look at this. This is what Nadia's left behind. This is what you call girls marking their territory. How the hell did she get a random piece of hair stuck on my trainer boxes? This is the shit that women do, you know. So they mark their territory by leaving their hair behind, yeah? And then they nest by leaving their toothbrushes behind and that. I'm telling you, go watch these chicks, you know. I might as well just do a quick tour of the house. So this is my first junk room. Yeah, this is my wardrobe room. All my jackets and that in here. Yeah, I mean, bag of jackets and that. Bear Gucci and Balenciaga, you know. It's my second junk room. This is where I hang up all my laundry and that. Obviously... More Balenciagas and that, come on. What can I say? Bathroom. Hey, that toilet flush is still not fixed, you know. My bedroom here.
Come my diffuser. So basically you put essential oils in it, turn it on, and steam comes out. And it makes the place smell nice. Yeah, so right now I've got lemongrass in there, so it's got a lemony smell. Get me, come on fam, I've got to represent. You really know what man's dealing with, what happened to you dog? Hallway, downstairs. Kitchen, changing this kitchen soon as well. Gonna get like white gloss to match the floor for the kitchen units. So this kitchen's been in there, well, I've had the house four years, probably six, seven, eight years. Dining room. And the infamous empty living room. Done now, come on man. Like, did you expect to see furniture in here? Like, come on fam. So yeah, since 019, when I first made that video inside Jay Wise's house, I still ain't bought no sofa, still ain't bought no TV. Would I look like a human being who's got time to watch Netflix? I'm a busy man. But anyway, I need to hit the road now because time's going. Uh, I'm just going to make my way down to my flat. Got some hoovering to do. Yes, I promise you gon' meet your death Knife work to your chest, make you lose your breath Or the gun play, I don't care if it's a Monday Or a Sunday, let the gun spray, bro day Sticks hit him up, I don't mean fist them up Let the strally rock, watch the nine shells rip him up I'm on the back road, stuck him from cuts His middle fingers up with a strally hug in a block Me and TA, no need to replay We keep shit for a weekend or the weekday I'll take your stick, no relay, pass that And if you see me with a Ross Clark Let me leave out dark dark I just blast, 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 blast Then I lock it off with my dogs off, stop Ha ha, it done no reason to see us Alright, be my nigga catch So this is Northampton's town centre This place is dead fam Dead, dead fam Dead my brother There's just nothing to do And I'm talking about pre-Covid I remember one time I took my girl to this Nando's here. And Saturday night, you know, you come out of Nando's, it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. You would think the town centre would be busy because there's a couple bars and clubs and that. People looked like they were starting to go home at 11 o'clock. Like it reminds you of, you know, like Shoreditch at 4 a.m. where people say, okay, yeah, boom. Night, call it a night, let's start making our way home. That's what it was like at 11 o'clock in this town centre. It's dead, man. Oh, yeah, they've got this Rolex shop as well for you Rolex pussy holes who believe buying a Rolex is a better option than buying a property. So fucking stupid, I'm telling you. You see, young people had it influenced by the social media and that. Right, I've just pulled up to my flat, so I'll see you lot inside. So I'm going to be hoovering this floor quickly. As you can see, the carpet installation ain't finished yet. So obviously, I've got all these bits to trim back. But the reason for me hoovering up all the fluff off the floor is to basically work out if there's bubbles. I don't know if you can see that. But because the carpet's so fluffy, it's hard to tell if there's bubbles or not with all the fluff on the floor and 
because the carpet is so spongy. So I thought, let me just give it a good hoover so I can work out how much, uh, it's basically, you have to use this thing called a knee kicker to stretch the carpet. So yeah, I'll show you how it works in here. So this thing here is called a knee kicker. When you lay new carpets and sometimes existing carpets over time, you get waves and you get bubbles in the carpet. This helps to stretch the waves and the bubbles at the carpet and flatten the carpet. Anyway, before I go, let me give you a quick tour of what I've done so far. So I fitted these spotlights in the ceiling, painted the walls with the help of Nadia. Raised the socket in that corner over there, installed two sockets in that corner there. Gave the walls one coat of paint, needs another coat. This is the kitchen. The floor's been tiled. As you can see here. But I've covered over the floor because obviously I don't want the floor to get damaged or anything like that. The floor's also been tiled down there as well with the same colour tiles as in the kitchen. But I've covered the floor so I don't want it to get damaged. Up here is the loft. This is where I make some of my videos when I come up to the flat. The bathroom, I'm going to retail whole bathroom, the walls and the floor, I'm going to change the bathtub, I uh, shouldn't need to change the toilet though, it should be alright, yeah that's about it for now, so imagine, I showed you my three bed house earlier, I just showed you my one bed flat just now, if you be following me a while, you will know say, that I own a studio flat in Egypt, now certain times, certain Instagram pages promote my thing. Shout out a man like Mr. Blue. Go and check out Blue Channel's Instagram page. And you know, even one time, Bobby Kasanga shared my thing when I was talking about properties. The other day, Blue Channel shared one of my videos when I was talking about buying a Rolex is a dumb idea when you can put down on a house. Some idiot put down in the comment section below the card. You have to remember, when a man talks about this property thing, I get bare pushback from people on it. Someone said, oh, social media is a facade. So you're basically saying that I'm lying, that I've got these properties and that. Some people think, oh, yeah, it's just a hater. It's not just hate. When someone don't believe that someone can own two or three properties at a young age, that's a reflection on themselves. They don't believe that they could do it. So how could someone else do it? Imagine this. Imagine I said to... Alan Sugar, you know what Alan Sugar is, isn't it? Multi-billionaire. If I said to Alan Sugar, yeah, in the next five or six years' time, I'm going to have ten properties to my name. He would say, yeah. Do you know why? Because he's a successful man. He's got money. He knows it can be done. He's done it, or at least done the equivalent of it. But someone who is not on the right path, someone who's not striving for success and greatness, they can't see it. Because they can't see themselves doing this. How can they see someone else doing that? This is like certain people. Back in the day, they see people driving Mercedes. And they're like, how can they afford that? Like, what are they doing? They're doing something dodgy. They look at their bank account. They look at their salary. And they're like, well, boy, I can't afford to drive a, a car like that. So how can someone else? So when you get hate online, it's not just as simple as, oh, that person's a hate or whatever. And it, no, 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 no. Certain times, the reason why people hate... The reason why people try and put down what you're trying to push out there, the narrative you're trying to push out there, is because they can't see it themselves. That's why they don't think it's possible. Yeah, don't get it twisted. These are properties up in Northampton. They're a third of London prices. But it's better to have three properties, or at least two properties, or at least one property, 
then have no properties at all. Living in your mother's yard, on the first floor, in a box room. So, yeah, man. This is the narrative that I like to push out here, innit? Yeah? You can be a black man or a black woman. You can go to jail. You can mess your life up. You can get a skill, get a trade, turn your life around and get on the right path to success. But anyway, time to hit the road now. I'm going back down to the ends to get my hair cut. Uh -oh. Here comes trouble. Yo, one of the best day. You keep back all the rest day. The next day, bring your gun for a test play. Cubans, first bus to escape. This for the fight. Then I live you see a next day. Start it. That's in the pussy where we party. it. They find them put all in a market basket. That's how them body. Talk them a talk it. Badness. Better them park it. Got them one to hard. Hey. Uh, the blood claw. Face on a watch the gun spark. Who I wish they gun to cut. You're not dark. But the fake guns just shut the dumb car and start it. Them I go on like them want it. I'm having premonitions of a casket. <laughs> Picture me the find him sitting by the market Take all this side man for target <laughs> You think your body's a black man? Yeah, I'm thinking your body's a black bash Ding dong, no pimps up Tina turn, me and murders the sinks up Madness, don't overstand it Enough little you don't know nothing about badness Don't know the language, no average shot Bite off his face like sandwich I'm all excited filming Krispy Kreme as I fly by thinking, yeah, in a couple of hours time, I'm going to be right here. Ah, uh, boom, I just touched down at Tottenham High Road, yeah? I'm just outside my barber shop right now. Dear Yardy chap. assembly hall, or they might do in different places to get the jabs. It's to stop you from getting um, like mumps and all these kind of stuff or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's on the I'm not going to call it deadly yeah, disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every, every kid has to get this. Right? So basically that conversation was about someone who got the COVID jab and they had a mini stroke afterwards and apparently now they got MS. But yeah, some parents they're against it because they think that their kids are going to get autism. Mm -hmm. Now somebody will never get a ticket in their life. And then you need to be a man who's just going to be up and running. And you need to be a man who's going to be a man who's going to be a man who's going to be a man. So how did he, alright, so he got the money doing what he was doing, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Even under my gown, I'm all waving my hands around and that. I don't know why, when I talk, I like to talk with my hands and that. It's a bad habit. Someone pulled me up about that a while ago and I thought I stopped, you know. Yeah, so yeah, he just, but the thing is, yeah, if he's a man that was doing whatever he was doing, like, what, 
he probably don't have qualifications like a uni degree or do you know what I mean like a skill where he's going to get a high paying job to cover the rest of the world so for example if he ain't got no skill or nothing like that or education of course he's going to be not working as well that's not going to pay that much maybe 15 grand a year so yeah he's got 70 grand for deposit and let's say for example he's only worth 15 grand a year salary times that by 5 for example that's only 75 so 75 plus 70, that's 145. He can only buy a property as well. Jay Wise, the mortgage advisor. So we're talking about a man who's in a bit of a conundrum right now. A man was on the road doing whatever he was doing, innit? He's got 70 grand for a deposit. But when you're on the road doing whatever you're doing, more than likely, you don't have an education. You didn't go to uni. You don't have a skill. You don't have a trade. So therefore, you can't get a high paying job. So yeah, you've got a deposit for a property. But how is a mortgage company going to lend you enough money to cover the rest of the property costs? This is what happened with certain men on road. Yeah, they on road. Yeah, they make money and that. Yeah, they got 70, 80 grand for a deposit and that. But they still need extra money to borrow to buy the property. Because no one's going to let you buy a house in cash. They're going to ask you where you get that money from. So this is what happens with man on road. Jeez, just got the fresh trim. I'm on my way to my favorite chicken and shop in Wood Green. So, yeah, shout out to my barber John for lining me up properly. You know, I feel like a new man. Uh, I'm just approaching my favorite chicken and chip shop now, Wood Green. Tin Turn Road, N22, hardest at Chicken Express. Police and teeth in a shootout. All right, people, I'm back home and I've got my chicken and chips. In this box, I've got one breast and four wings with burger sauce on top. In this box, chips with burger sauce all over. And I'm sitting down in my living room. I'm telling you, I could go to sleep right now, man. I think they call it a food coma or something like that. But you eat a nice meal and you feel like you want to go to sleep. But I couldn't rest if I wanted to anyway, because I've got to take this bike out, go link up with a the man then and go for a ride out. I mean, like, what is she doing, fam? Yeah, if you step out of the way of the camera, though. If 
you lot have heard me say I have to bring the bike through my mother's yard, I'm not joking, fam. I'm not leaving that bike at the front of my mother's yard. That will get teeth, fam. I right, just washed my hair quickly and the trim is looking mad. So time for me to get changed now. Levers, helmet. Get me Jay Wise is out here. Left my mother's yard, set off on the bike. I'm going to link the man there. So I'll be going on a big ride out, yeah? Even stopped off at the petrol station to make sure I got a full tank. Supposed to be linking the man there at Krispy Kreme for 6 p.m. I get there on time. But I'm the only person there, fam. Do you know what happened? I misread the information. I didn't realise what day the 23rd was. I thought the 23rd was going to be a Saturday. So I got sent this poster saying, yeah, everyone link up 23rd, 6pm, Krispy Kremes. Really and truly, the 23rd was a Friday. I thought the 23rd was going to be a Saturday. So a man has travelled all the way down from Northampton, 70 miles, you know. Enfield Krispy Kreme to link up with the man then to go on a ride up and it was the wrong fucking day this whole vlog was based on me going for a ride up and I was just taking you along the way what I was doing during the day but it is what it is isn't it yeah I didn't waste too much time you know see man got the fresh trim and that but I've learned something from this yeah make sure you read and establish what date you're on because you could be wasting your fucking time Stay wise.